Oh, good Wednesday morning, everybody. Off to work I go again. As you can see, it's still cloudy and overcast today. We're still supposed to be getting rain. But I doubt it'll rain down here. I do like it when they leave me room to come through and then they just sit there and let me take off. Have we got enough room or not? I can sneak up into some of these, I think. Nope, oh, solid white line. It's illegal, don't you know? To cross over. Solid white line. Whoa, 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 whoa. The motorcycle parked up here. Is it the CHP? Nope, just somebody broke down. Sorry dude, but I'm on my way to work. I can't stop and help you. Sucks. If I wasn't late for work, I could stop and give him a hand, but I can't be late for work. I've never been late in the 10 years I've been working there. That's the heavy set dude. I was gonna say the fat guy, but that's not really nice. So I don't know where the skinny dude's at. But they hide right back in there. Oh my goodness gracious, my fuel light came on. Came on about 11, 12 miles earlier. Must be because of that extra inch I raised the tank. Excuse me while I pass you. So I wonder if one inch equals 10 miles. Huh, that'd be interesting. If I dropped it down to the stock height, would I get another 30 miles before the light comes on? Hmm. Interesting question, but I can't do that because those of you who watched me making my tank, painting it, customizing it, all that stuff, recall that I lowered the tunnel, added in a piece of metal there and lowered the tunnel down. So you see, I cannot drop it down any lower than it already goes. I don't know if you got the right angle there or not. Uh, you can look back in my videos about doing the gas tank and see that. So, the lower I could set it, it would be a two inch lift. Because that's what I may cut that metal insert out to be is for a two inch lift. <laughs> I gotta get me a fuel bottle to carry with me so I can take this sucker and run her till she starts sputtering and see just exactly how far I can go. I saw on some forums some guys claiming they get to like 150, 160 miles on their four and a half gallon tanks. Of course, that was on a low, a Harley low. Most of them all the lows with the four and a half gallon tanks. 
sitting in the stuck position get that further mileage on them so you know the higher the front end of the bike sits and the lower the back end sits and the same with the tank height raising the less distance you're going to get because more gas sits in the back of the tank so it's either have the nice chopper look and get less mileage or distance or you leave it stock and get further on it I like the way it we like to move it move it move it move it move it move it yeah now that was a very unexciting ride except for bombing down the freeway that was fun. That's always fun. Da -da -da. three gallons. Huh. Looks like GMC went out of business. Okay, boys and girls, we got two lanes. Let's use them. Shit, what is this? 20 freaking fucking miles an hour. I should shift in the first. <laughs> I couldn't go all day long without seeing one. You know it? <laughs> Thank you. I do have the right of way, you know. The only reason not was stopping is because you was running on side street. I don't know if that was some detective or private security or what it was, but He's the one entering the main road from a side street. He's the one who's got to stop for oncoming traffic, not me. Only reason I was slowing down is because I saw he wasn't going to. He was going to come right out in front of me. 
Oh, right on, cowboy. Oh. Ah. <sighs>